Hello and welcome to episode number 10 of this Let's Play Songs of Six here at Hannibal Noir's YouTube channel. Now, uh, we do have um, an interesting thing that we would like to, to do, and that is to um, build a tilapi nursery. So uh, we might not have to rely on immigrants to, um, to get our numbers up, so uh, let's activate uh, this building here. I'm really looking forward to this. So let's go into hyperspeed mode and uh, let's also get um, the dirt roads here. Uh, we're gonna have to um, probably connect into here. Let's go down a little bit. And uh, it's a little bit tricky to uh, to build while the hyperspeed module is on, especially roads, because... Uh... Yeah, we'll do something like that. There we go. All right, let's see here. They need uh, quite a lot, but I do think we have everything they need, right? Uh, except for builders. Huh. Okay, we could uh, we could get one one person in here. Just the one, please. Thank you. Just the one should do uh, do the trick. Uh, super speed. So he is going to be building us this, or is he going to be? Well, we'll see. How many people are living here now? Two, two, two claim pit diggers. Okay. And how many people are living here? Just the one weaver. So we are. Currently, almost ready to build this, and after we have um, kind of started to get some population in here, I really am curious to see how long it takes, and how many resources it takes, and the graphics, and, and everything that is around this building here. Uh, and, um, well, we kind of also have uh, this building here that we need to get built. Uh, but uh, let's focus on this first. Um, but yeah, when we're done with that, we're going to have to go over a couple of buildings when we start to get over 50 population. 7, 8, 9. There we go. Because I kind of want uh, our 50th... 50th? 50th? Yeah, our 50. Oh gosh, I can't say that. Number 50. Villager number 50. It's gonna be uh, somebody that is being, has been born here. Yeah, that is uh, kind of my idea here. Uh, we are completely out of wood. How is that the case? Have we stopped all production of wood? No. Uh, let's uh, get those in here instead. Because I think that is gonna be producing us a little bit more wood. And also it's a little bit closer to here. And let's see here. So we need 59 fabrics. We have 283. We need 176 furniture. Yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. Again, get me that tilapi here. No, don't, don't slave, please. I wonder if there is a way we can kind of turn him off or say that I don't want to have you here anymore because you are constantly annoying me. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Oh, we need one more. So I think the, the the amount of immigrants you have also does affect the happiness of your colony. So that's something we're going to have to be a little bit wary about. Come on, just keep that one person so we can get this room built please I mean he has gonna he has have he's gonna have to run back and forward through the warehouse a couple of times uh, let's uh, do that because we're probably gonna lose one soon I would imagine so what are we missing we're missing a little bit of everything and we are in hyperspeed mode so um,
So why are you not building it? <laughs> why are you not building it, my friend? I mean, we have 71 people that want to get in here. <laughs> that That is... That's kind of good. There we go, we lost one more. Alright. So we're almost done with all the fabric. And we lost another one. So... I really want to have my, uh, my first... Uh, our 50th, our person number 50 to be born, not an immigrant. That is um, uh, not reflecting of my <laughs> my personal view, but uh, <laughs> in-game, in-game views. Let's see here, 95. Oh, this is going to take forever. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll get back to you when we are... Uh, kind of ready. Alright, so I misclicked. Dang it! Alright, our 50th person is not going to be born. Well, it's going to be number 51 then, right? <laughs> Alright, so we messed that up badly. I mean, we could go back and load the game, but oh gosh, let's not do that. Uh, let's engage um, hyperspeed again. Uh, you know what? Let's just import a couple of people now that we kind of have crossed that threshold. 55. That should go a little bit quicker now. Uh, let's see here. I think we can potentially put in some more people working here and potentially some more people working here. Uh, let's put another couple of clay miners in here. Oh gosh, we're just back to... Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's, it's done! Oh, what the heck is this? Alright, build it for me, please. Make it. So what is this? They require employees. Are they... working as... baby makers? Okay, I want to see this in action. Give me... what was it? Six people? Six people, come in here. Come into my country and make babies, please. Authorize. Alright, so what, what are they doing? How do they make babies? Capacity 20. Children. Zero. Babies. None. Days until next child. Ten days. Oh, they're just putting... Wait, what? Are they planting the fruit in... On the beds? Are they beds? I have no idea. I mean, maybe they aren't born. Maybe they are grown out of fruit. Oh gosh. Is the tilapia just a bunch of fruit? Oh, wait, 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 look at that. I think they are. They just planted a... <laughs> they took a piece of fruit, put it in a weird contraption, and out came a baby. So look at that. So now we have five babies. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that is cute. But what is this? Alright, nine days until... Let's go warp speed here. Oh, they still have to give them fruit. No worries. Okay, this is cute. Kinda. Also a little bit gross, because I kind of feel like this is... Kind of looks like a puddle of slime. Uh, but maybe it isn't. I don't know, maybe this is like changing tables. So I don't know. Alright. Let's uh, go hyperspeed again. And see... Gosh, we have now 20 babies. 20 babies that is being grown. Four days until uh, the baby stuff is going to happen. Three days. Uh, we lost a person. Okay. But that means we're going to get 20 people coming in here. 
Uh, no slaves, thank you. I think that means we're going to need quite a lot more fruit production. What do you think? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think that means we're going to need quite a lot of fruit production, because look at the... Okay, let's slow down here. What happens when they're grown up? Do they turn into uh, just a tilapia and just walk out? Alright, so I think these are going to be the first one. Oh, this is so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so when a tilapi put so what it's not like when a when a mommy tilapi and a daddy tilapi no it's when a when a mommy tilapi put an apple in the ground <laughs> I learn something new every day now come on grow up for me please now let's uh, increase the speed a little bit more I want to see what happens to you. I mean, we can't click them. Come on, grow up, please. Don't let me miss this uh, a beautiful moment in tilapia history. So I think these were the first that got born, or grown or whatever <laughs> it kind of looks a little bit freaky as well doesn't it uh, I think we probably should give them a door you know just to keep the wolves out and you just wait I'm gonna miss it while trying to fiddle around with the door here there we go all right grow up please Children, none. Babies. Oh, do they need to go into uh, the child phase as well? Well, that makes sense. They just don't go from baby to grown... to fully grown p people. But how does this work? I'll speed up the game a little bit. Oh, saving. So we should see children, right? I mean, it must have gone one day now. Is one day like one year? That could be. That could be the case. Oh, did you see that? He left. Uh, where did he go? Oh gosh, is that you? Child. Oh, it's a child. Can we uh, put you as a favorite? Oh gosh, how do we do that? So what is it doing? It's playing. Okay. What, it, what, what is it playing? Well, he's playing. He's playing... I don't know. Something weird. <laughs> and how many years do they have to be before they kind of grow up. Oh, he left. Uh, let's see here. If we search by age. Uh, let's... Um, you. Can I... I don't think we can click on them. I kind of wanted to make them into a favorite. Like we can't click on this guy here, or girl. Uh, Davila and, and make her a favorite but it doesn't seem like that is something we can do here with the children but they go back to okay so they go back to the bed where they they were born or grown and then they just leave oh, this is so Crazy. So where are you? You are the 
you're still a child. We'll, we'll keep an eye on uh, on you. We'll, we'll make sure that you grow up to be a, a good, healthy... Let's go warp speed. That is... Uh, that is intense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's definitely going or getting around here. I mean, he's not even one year, so maybe he's need, he needs to be at least one year. All right, so he's zero point three years. Still can't click him, but we can click this girl here. So now he's half a year, he's still a child. Very frustrating to watch. I kind of want to see when they go from a child to not a child. I, I, I do believe perhaps one year should do the trick, right? One year. When you're one year old, you can carry an axe, right? <laughs> uh, but I... Uh, yeah, we were supposed to not invite any more immigrants, wasn't that like the... The plan and let's see if that is going to be um, be a thing oops we're following the wrong person he's just stuck in this little area oh gosh uh, somebody died here who is that <gasps> starved to death wait what um okay Uh, that's not good. Okay, we're gonna need more food production. There is no way around that. And uh, we're gonna have to call upon the immigrants to help us out here. So we're gonna need at least a couple of people. So let's get 20 people in here. Um, hmm. We talked about this area here. Didn't we? Make some farms and whatnot. But let's see what we have of fertile land down here. Not very much at all. Okay, this is uh, unfortunate, but uh, I do think it's going to be necessary. Do we have... We could just make some small patches here and there. Just utilize this. All right, let's do that. All right, so we have made like a little tapestry all of the farms right outside the city here. Uh, I wonder if we should also make like a little... A tiny little residential area? Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. We... Uh, but yeah, we are uh, very low on fruits, so hopefully this is going to be nice. But yeah, uh, it, it took me a little bit by surprise how much fruit they actually needed to grow these uh, people. But it could also be that they are basically just eating it. That's also an option. Um, I mean, we could potentially also expand this fruit field all the way in back here. Let's do that as well. Operation save the babies. Do so you want to have it grown all up against the wall here, maybe? Maybe? Like so. Sure, because we're also gonna need some um, we also gonna need some more um, irrigation here, I would imagine. So we're going to be utilizing this spot as well. Uh, what are you? You're a weaver. Probably would have been better if we got um, people with clothing in here, but okay. Yeah, completely out of uh, food. So all the babies are going to die. <laughs> Gosh, we're going to be terrible parents. Oh, they're gonna hate us, right? Uh, I think there also is another building that we would like to look at. Religion, infrastructure, knowledge, and school. Oh, dang it. That means we're gonna need paper. Okay, so... Maybe we'll have to look at that next episode, perhaps? Build a school, uh, maybe here. Or can we fit a school in here? I, I think that... Nah, we'll, we'll put it down here. So they don't have to travel too far. But 
new shipment of uh, food should be coming on very soon here. We also need to dig a channel in here. Like so. And let's see here. How is the irrigation coming along? It's still 100%. Good. Oh, we don't have any irrigation on these. Okay. We'll, um, hmm. we'll make some irrigations here. Dig channel. Let's see here. So, um... Let's go down here. And... Go all the way over here. Like so. And then we can have... A little bit of a... Irrigation coming down here. To here. To here. I think this should be more than enough irrigation. Can we just do that? Like so. Not quite sure if this is going to be enough. This is just one giant patch, isn't it? No, it's two. So. I th maybe it's going to be enough. We'll see. It's definitely going to be enough for this area here. Maybe we could um, expand you over here. Okay, I'll remove those two, and that one. And then, sure, we'll see how that turns out. This is not a big patch, so this probably is going to be irrigated rather quickly. Yep, 100%. Hundred percent, eighty percent. Oh, come on. Okie dokie. We're gonna need to dig out a little bit more here. Like so. There we go, hundred percent. And a hundred percent. Well yeah. Should we should we make some some residential areas here? I think we will. Oh man, we're gonna need so much fruit. Um, yeah, I think we, I think we're also gonna be making like a little fence around here because like it's private property, right, for the farmers that's gonna live here. But I do think that is going to be it for today's episode. Starving. We went from having forty. What was it? 45 days worth of food to only eight. Oh, hungry, hungry babies. Um, starve to death. Well, try and fail. That is going to be our <laughs> our approach to the children here. <laughs> Somebody should probably call um, child... Uh, child uh, what, is it, what is it called? Child support? No. Children's services? I, I don't even know what it's called in English. Uh, but yeah, um, hopefully this is going to be uh, bringing us enough uh, food to um, sustain our hungry, hungry population here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we were supposed to call this episode. So um, yeah, if you haven't already, there is a thumbs up button underneath the video to get it with a subscribe button and a comment section. If you do interact with that, it does help us fight that pesky YouTube algorithm. And again, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and until next time. Take care and keep smiling.